Hello, I'm here again. And now I want to talk to you about some very special and very important living beings. Trees. Trees, like two friends, give everything without asking for anything in return. They allow us to swing on their branches or give us cool shade on summer days. But trees give us much more than just shade. They give us the oxygen that is essential for life. And they absorb and produce carbon dioxide, CO2, which is the cause of the greenhouse effect and global warming. They are like the lungs of the world. Trees are also home to many living things. And you humans get them from the fruits you eat. The wood you use to make your furniture and the paper you write on. But that's not all. The roots of the trees, although we don't see them, also play a very important role. They help prevent soil erosion. They are like enormous hands that hold the soil so that it will not wash away by the wind and water. There are many reasons to take care of and protect trees. However, you humans, once again, are doing the opposite. You cut them down. You burn them. And you wipe out forests and jungle, causing a very big disaster called deforestation. Deforestation is a threat that worries me very, very much. Although forests still cover about 30% of my land area, 15 billion trees are cut down every year. Can you imagine that? If this continues, in a hundred years, I will have almost no trees left. And this will have very serious consequences for me and for all living things. The first to suffer will be the animals, many of which are already in danger of extinction and will not be able to survive if their home is destroyed. In addition, deforestation will also accelerate climate change because without trees will be no more toxic gases and without the moisture that forests produce, it will not rain either. And areas once covered by jungle will become deserts. I know that people cut down trees because they need wood, land to grow crops, and places to make their homes. But everything in nature must be done with care and moderation. Luckily, many people have realized how important trees are and are fighting to stop deforestation. And you, the children, can help too. <laughs> by respecting nature, taking care of the trees and learning how important they are, reducing the use of paper, reusing it and recycling it when you can't use it anymore. And above all, best thing that you can do is plant trees, lots of trees. You'll have a great time if you do it with your whole family and you'll feel very proud watching them grow. By making smart decisions, and working together, we can do it. Because you know, changing the world is child's play. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, do you know who I am? I am the Earth. Yes, that's right, the planet Earth. And I would like to talk to you about trees as they are very important both for you and me and all living things. Do you know how many trees there are on my surface? Almost three trillion. Yup, I said trillion. It is difficult to imagine such a large number and it sounds like so many. But the truth is we need even more because they are essential for our environment to remain healthy, as well as for you and me. 
Every year, 15 billion trees are cut down. It's crazy! When simply looking at a tree, we only observe a part of a complex and fascinating living thing. Underground, you can find the roots, and it is because of them that the tree sticks to the ground, while at the same time, they suck up the water and minerals found in the soil, allowing it to grow. These roots are also like hands grabbing hold of the earth, avoiding it from being eroded by the wind and water. The water and all the nutrients it receives from its roots extend throughout the tree, through the inner part of the trunk, a true column for the tree top. This is where we find the tree's branches, which grow outwards in a similar fashion to the roots underground. Here is where the leaves sprout out, a fundamental element in all trees, as it is because of them that photosynthesis takes place, so they can feed. What does photosynthesis mean? Well, it's a fascinating chemical process. The water, enriched with minerals, reaches the leaves and then, with the help of the sunlight and the chlorophyll, which is also responsible for the green color they receive, is mixed with carbon dioxide absorbed from the air through the leaves. Photosynthesis is essential for trees, but also is really important for all living things living close by, because it traps carbon dioxide, or CO2, which is one of the causes of the greenhouse effect that is making the temperatures rise all over the planet, meaning me, and that's why I'm so hot. During this process, the tree also expels oxygen, an essential part of the air we breathe. And there are many more benefits we can gain from trees. They're like tiny living planets, offering food and shelter to a multitude of different animals. Human beings get wood and fruit from trees. They help soften the wind strength and rain, as well as reduce air contamination, filtering it through the leaves and branches. And I am sure you have found relief under the shade of a tree on a very hot sunny day. Well, they do a similar thing to me. The forests are one of the best means I have to regulate the climate, thanks to their shade and ability to avoid water evaporation. As you can see, there are many good reasons to look after trees. And, better yet, to plant them and help them grow strong and healthy. I suggest a very exciting idea. Encourage your parents to grow trees. For as you know, children can make a world of difference. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.